Hi everyone and welcome to Country Cuddlebugs Nursery. As you can see I have sweet little Nevea here with me and today I am going to be changing her into her winter outfit but I did a bit of a detailed or informative video all about Nevea. She is sculpted by master artist Ping Lao and she is sold um, or she is an Ashton Drake Galleries doll. So I purchased her not from the Bradford Exchange and that's where anyone from Canada would purchase um, the, Ash the Ashton Drake Galleries dolls, but there are also many dealers in Canada that you can purchase from. And I found a company that I'm so happy with that is from Quebec and the shipping is great. I love her website because she also includes an actual picture of the actual doll, not just the prototype pictures that Ashton Drake Galleries puts on their website. So that's really nice. If you have not seen videos of the particular doll, it's nice to at least see what she looks like in her box when um, as she is when you're going to receive her. So I am so happy with this purchase that I made of Nevea because she is so adorable. And if you saw my first video of her, my box opening, um, the video has done really good. And I think it's just because she is so precious and so pretty. She is the ninth annual winner of the baby contest that the Ashton Drake Galleries does every year. So I did undress her because I wanted you to be able to see her limbs better and her body. She also has a ball jointed neck. So if you're the type of collector like me, you would appreciate these types of dolls because they are so great for posing and she does have armatures she has as you can see let me lay her down and then i'll go from above her so you can get a better look at her okay so here i've laid her down and you can see her whole body so she does come on a with a ball jointed head so it's great for posing her head she can look up she can look down and her head turns from side to side very nicely she also has this neck upper chest plate which is very nice for when you're dressing her in little summer dresses and the full arms makes it even better I don't think I have any full arm Ashton Drake Galleries dolls other than Charlie and that's because he is full vinyl. Now I don't have many, but I've also, most of the ones that I've seen are three quarter arms, three quarter legs. So I think the full arm is super nice. I'd rather have a full arm and three quarter legs than the other way around because I just think for dressing them in cute outfits, um, even when they're three quarter arms, sometimes the sleeves on the outfits, unless you get them a little bit bigger, they rise up and then you can see the cloth in the arm. So I prefer the full arms. I don't mind so much the three quarter legs, but it is nice to have the full arms. She has her ears pierced. And if you didn't see my first video with her, she does not take a magnetic pacifier. And perhaps they did the pierced ears instead of that, which I think is super cute that she has the pierced ears. I know not everyone likes that, but it's a little bit different. And of course, I love having the option of using a pacifier, a magnetic pacifier with her. But what I will be doing with her, and it's what I did with my Ashton Drake Charlie, 
is I just modified a pacifier using the silicone earplugs. I have a tutorial on my channel which I'll post in the description box below and I really like using the silicone earplugs because they are clear and so when you stick this to the doll's lips um, there's no color that comes off with which with the putty that a lot of people use that has been an issue maybe not for everyone but I've known of people telling me that the color, whether they use blue or red, then the color from the putty would go off onto the vinyl. So with this, it's clear. And even if you do get a little bit of the silicone that comes off, which rarely does, you just wipe it away and there's no issue. The thing with the silicone earplugs is you have to use the Silpoxy glue because hot glue or even E6000 glue will not keep this in place because it is silicone. But I ordered a little tube off of Amazon and it worked great. I let it dry for a good amount of time and I absolutely love using it with Charlie. I don't always put the pacifier on him but it is nice to take different photos of him with and without it. So I'll just show you here how it would look with Nevea. You can see that it stays in place really well. And I love this size for her and also that the sides curve in. So they're pretty much touching her cheek. So you see nothing of the earplug which is really nice there's the other side and then if I have to shake a little bit you see that it's staying on nicely so it works really well this would be nice if you have someone that you want to give this to that has certain health conditions where they can't have um, anything magnetic then this doll would be great I was contemplating on taking her apart but I don't think I want to do that with Nevea and also too because I'm not sure how the mechanism here is with her head and this little upper chest plate so I don't want to mess around with her this is a quick solution an easy fix and it works great with her so I'm not gonna bother taking her apart just to put a magnet in she has beautiful beautiful brown inset eyes and really really nice rooted I'd say it's a dark brown it seems like there is a little bit of black but I'd say more so dark brown it could just be the lighting but they are wispy curls and they are so adorable. Her limbs, as I said, they are full arms and she does have armatures. So for posing her, it's really great. You can do different pictures with different poses. Now, if you don't like the armatures, then I don't know that you would want to mess around with taking her apart. If you have taken apart these types of dolls before with the ball jointed head and the upper chest plate, then that would be great. But if you're not, then I don't know. I was thinking of doing it, but then I said, no, I, I'm just going to leave her as she is. Because really, I love to pose the dolls and take pictures of them. That is more the type of collector that I am. I like to display them. So a lot of times I don't mind the armatures because you can take some really cute pictures with them. So she has open hands so you can see there her hands 
And here are her feet. And I actually like her feet. I love this little toe with little chubby toe. I don't always like the feet, but these ones are really cute. They seem more realistic than some other ones that I've seen through the Ashton Drake galleries. And she has three quarter legs. And on the back, she has the stamp AD for Ashton Drake, authentic, certified authentic. And I think that's everything with Nevaeh. So I will be changing her, as I said, into her winter outfit. But I wanted to just show you a couple of other little outfits that I picked up along the way. And I'll just go ahead and show you all the things that I picked up. The outfit that I have for Nevaeh, I picked up at Carter's and I actually picked up two because I wanted to change my Kimberly sculpt from Bountiful Baby into that outfit but I thought since I couldn't find anything for Nevea, I thought that she would look really cute in that outfit as well so I picked one up for her and the outfit is red leggings this set I already washed but the other one that I have in my haul I've not washed those yet and these little bloomer shorts and then a white sweater and with this outfit at Walmart I found and that's the only thing that I picked up at Walmart from George I found this adorable head wrap that I thought would look really cute on her and nice with her outfit so that is going to be her outfit now let me move her aside and the next time you see her she will be all dressed in her outfit but I'm gonna just show you quickly the other things that I picked up okay so here's the other outfit that I got the same as the one that I will be putting on Nevaeh but Carter's had a phenomenal sale so I ended up getting this one for super cheap both outfits that I picked up at Carter's and an accessory I got at like 60% off so I just went ahead and got another one I'll wash this one and then I'll be changing my Kimberly sculpt which is my Addison into this for my Kenzie sculpt that I have not decided yet whether I want to keep her name Kenzie just because it makes it so much more simple for me to remember or if I'm going to change her name yet but when I do her changing video it will be decided by then for her I picked up this adorable dress with the Peter Pan collar um, did it come with yes it came with little um, bloomers or diaper cover which is nice but I love this pattern so much so I picked it up for her in nine months because I wasn't sure I haven't shopped for her yet so I don't know what I like her best in but I think nine months should be okay and then I picked her up this sweater in nine months as well which is super sweet so I can't wait to change her into that and then I picked up these two head or two pack of headbands or head wrap and they were super cheap as well so I thought it would look nice with the outfit I don't know which one I'll use yet but we'll see when I change her I went into Giant Tiger because I'm always checking out their clearance rack because again I usually buy the clothes for the reborns when they are super discounted um, this one here was regular $12 it was down to six but then the whole anything on the rack was half price so it was three dollars 
So I paid a dollar per piece. It's a three piece outfit and it says Little Pumpkin. It has the hat with the orange and black and then the pants are the same. Now I am always so nervous about buying anything dark color, but normally I will put something underneath. So I will put a white long sleeve onesie and then I will put leggings just to make sure that the ink doesn't transfer to the vinyl. And I always wash my clothes before I put them on, but I've seen so many horror stories of people buying outfits that are dark colors and then it leaks into the vinyl. And that has happened to me with and luckily it was just a kit that I was it was a cuddle baby so it was only a head and I put the hat on and the black in the hat leaked into the vinyl um, so I it was a head that I practice on so I didn't mind as much and if you're gonna be stripping the whole thing down it's easy to get out but I don't know what you would do if it is your reborn doll and then you get ink on there. I don't know how that would come off. If you guys know, go ahead and put it in the comments section. Hopefully none of us ever experienced that, but if anyone does, then at least we know of a solution that we can try. So I thought that was cute. I went to Dollarama and all I got there were these headbands and these are so beautiful and I think for the price they are a great price for three dollars Canadian you get five head wraps or headbands now this one here I had made a fauna from Bountiful Baby for a gift for someone like somebody purchased her to gift so I used one of the head wraps but um, yeah, I think these are beautiful for three dollars for five. That is a great deal. And then the last items come from Old Navy and these are going to be for my front entrance where I have my Charlie and my Louisa by Ashton Drake. Right now, as I said, I have my Tory Sculpt sitting on the rocking horse. So for now, she will be dressed the same along with the other two, but I wanted them all to match because they're at my front entrance and I just love always creating little scenes there. So for little Charlie, I ended up getting this long sleeve onesie and then it comes with the little pants. So I'm going to be putting that on him. And I believe I had a hat somewhere, which I have to try and see if I can find that I think would look really cute on him with that outfit. For my Ping Lao Tori, which I have not named yet. And I think with her, I might change her name. So I bought her this. And she came with some knee-high socks so I just might keep those on her so I thought that was really cute and then for my Louisa sculpt which I have a name for her and once I change her I will reveal it I got her this dress and I picked her up these little booties now these are a size 6 I've heard some people say and of course it all depends where you're getting the shoes from but I heard some people say five I heard some say six I really think I could have got a seven these fit her but I don't I can't put any socks on her or they're harder for her to go for them to go on and also to zip these up they zip to about there and then that's it so I may return these and just see if I can get a size 7 because it will be better for her. But I mean, once her foot's in there, the, 
it fits good. I mean, I don't like having them overly big, but I don't think you would notice it so much on her. So I may change these. And then for Tori, as she's sitting on the rocking horse, I picked her up these black little ballet slippers or shoes, not slippers. And that is my haul. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change Nevea off camera. It's just easier, especially when they have the armature. So I'm just going to change her. And then when you see her again, she will be all dressed up in her winter best. Okay guys, so here is sweet little Nevea and she looks adorable in her Carter's outfit. I would almost even like to see what a zero to three months would look like on her. I mean this fits her perfectly, but I have always loved the clothes on the Reborn dolls, even my own children, I always liked them to be baggy. Now the tights, I would want the way that they are, but as far as the little bloomer shorts, I think I would have liked them a little bit more baggier. And I mean, she's small. I believe I said she was 18 inches but she's super cute. I did have the head wrap that I was gonna put on her head, but then what I realized was that it was, it was just too big for her head. And so I had these really cute bows that I wanted to add into her hair, and they look really, really cute on her. I didn't do too much with her hair, I just put the bows in and I thought she looked super sweet in them. I also have another head wrap that I wanted to try on her, but I first wanted to show you what she looked like with the little pigtails at the top of her head with the bows. I think they look super cute on her. Let me go ahead and put the wrap on her head to see how she looks with that. Oh my goodness, she is just too cute for words. I love the head wraps on her. Let me just fix that little part there. So adorable. I love her with the head wrap on. Again, I just, I didn't really do too much with her hair, but she is so cute. I think I'm going to keep the head wrap on her. Just adorable. And I have this little plushie that I picked up at Dollar Tree. It was the last one that I saw. It almost looks like a Squishmallow, and I thought it goes perfect with her outfit. Let me just pose it in her hands as if she's holding there. it. There, so with the armatures, it's really nice to have her holding things. You can just squeeze her arms together and it's like she's holding it herself. I think she is so adorable. I absolutely love Ping Lao's sculpts and I think she truly outdid herself with this one here. I love from Paradise Gallery Smitten Kitten as well as Oh Baby. I have two of them because I love that one so much. But this one is just so petite and so sweet looking. I absolutely love her and I hope that if this is the first time you're seeing her that you really enjoy her as well. I think that she, as I said, outdid herself with this little cutie. So guys, that will do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Share the video if you can. It will greatly help my channel grow. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, well, I'd absolutely love and appreciate it if you did. As always, guys, you take care of yourselves, and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye for now.